Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Don channel. We're here off of uh, Red Rock National Conservatory area. Turtlehead Peak right there in front of us. According to the sign. And then something called Calico Tanks over here behind that sign. Very cool stuff. Sandstone. At least that's what it was reported to be. Watch for tortoise. Check underneath car for tortoise. Very cool. Very popular hiking trails out here. A lot of folks really enjoy this stuff. Mount Charleston's gonna be on the other side of that ridge there. Back in the car now, we'll go ahead and continue down Scenic Loop Drive. And now heading south, oriented south. had a lot of requests from folks asking me to uh, incorporate a, uh, a map into the videos and I I'm looking into it I don't want you to think that I'm not paying attention I'm definitely looking into it but uh, so far I haven't really found anything just yet 35 mile an hour speed limit in here radar enforced Southwest, according to GPS, the Sheep Mountain, I'm sorry, Spring Mountain, Spring Mountain Range right there in front of us. More squiggly roads here, but nothing like the mountain roads we see up at Lake Tahoe, Kingsbury Grade. No parking anytime. Not certain if the uh, bighorn sheep also live out here. I had a fly here in the vehicle. It's a pretty looking mountain right there in front of us. mountain high enough. Some cactus over here off to the side. Desert life. I wonder if they have any bighorn sheep out here. When I first moved to Nevada, they had a big short bighorn sheep on the driver's licenses. They don't do that anymore, but I went to South Carolina a few years back and uh, <laughs> they looked at my license and thought it was like a toy because the way Nevada's printed on it. I'm like, no, this is really what the state issues. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Google Google an image for it. Get around this curve here. Just blur the sun right there in the way. There we go. I don't know what the point would be to anyone speeding out here. You gotta pay to come out here first of all. Some people just are in too much of a hurry, I guess. I don't know.
one idea one idea that I've toyed with is actually pointing the camera having the uh, navigation in the in the screen for the camera but it takes up too much of the screen and then there's focusing problems like it wants to focus either close or far and it doesn't know which one so it's hard to get both of them in the same frame so I am looking at uh, trying to incorporate some sort of GPS or map into the videos for us. The winter time, this is actually really a nice place to come out, provided that it's not, you know, 20 degrees. But it rarely gets down that low. I, the lowest that I've seen it here has been around 28 degrees Fahrenheit, which is below freezing. For our international viewers, I don't know what the conversion is to uh, Celsius, but 32 degrees is uh, freezing in Fahrenheit. So zero degrees Celsius. So it'd probably be, I don't know, one or two degrees below zero, below freezing. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that back behind us there. Oh, we've got a ridge line. Okay. Got the sun I'm fighting with here. Parking in designated areas only. We have another fork here. Let's see what comes up here. High Point Overlook, it's called. So we'll go ahead and take a look here at High Point Overlook. This is pretty cool. It is indeed the high point. Take a moment, show you the high point. So those are gonna be the sandstone mountains down there that we were just at there. And then in the distance there is Las Vegas. I actually have the uh, waxing gibbous moon out there too on the east end of town. I'm not sure what buildings those are that we're looking at. I want to say it's probably South Point, but I'm not sure out there. Yeah, that's about South Point there. Way out there. Let me take a look at this. Over here, the sandstone story. Take a moment and pause it. So that you can uh, read what uh, what's on here. High Point Overlook at Red Rock Canyon National Conserved Conservation Area. Very cool stuff. Back in the car. Yeah, that area looked like South Point down there, and they've got those condos right there around it. I want to say that's the South Point Casino on the south end of town, but I'm not sure. And then there's a whole bunch of warehouses out there. It looked just beyond it. That could be South Henderson, where they're building like crazy out there. There's a Genesis. GV60, I've not seen that before. Huh. More parking in designated areas only signs. cliff here. It's kind of the same view we just had there. We'll keep the sun out of here. So we take
take in the desert landscape out here at Red Rock. Would have been cool to see an elevation sign. I've got a couple of cars behind me. I'm going to let them go by. I'm not trying to speed around. Here at mile marker 5. Let you guys go. So this is interesting here, you can kind of see, so I'm going to try and zoom it in. More of the town down there, not quite able to tell, yeah, I still say that's the south end of town, Henderson and all that down there, and in fact the M Casino, I can kind of see the M Casino out there, it looks, it, that looks like the M Casino out there in my humble opinion. So, got a Chevy here behind me, I'll let him go by. No stopping or standing, oops. looking mountain there. There's gold in them there hills. It's always cool when you get really, really close to the mountains and then you just look, look straight up and you see nothing but rock face. I always thought that was kind of cool. Being a Florida boy, I'm just, we grew up with lots of flat, flat land everywhere. Never had differing perspectives and elevations like this, but uh, cool to have out here in the western United States. And of course they have it on the eastern U.S. as well, but uh, the Appalachians, etc. And those are the Spring Mountains, the Spring Mountain Range right in front of us there. Potential flash flood areas, that means we're going down in elevation. See what there is to see. White Rock Trailhead. And I think I can see why they call it that. Grand Circle. Oh, and there's a crow of some sort right there, looks like. So that's the White Rock there. huge crows. I don't know if those are crows or not, but they're big and black. They look like crows to me. Maybe ro maybe ravens. I'm not sure. But uh, we'll get closer to this sign here so I can put that up for you. Folks out here hiking. No camping, it says there. Keystone Thrust, White Rock Mountain. Right there in front of us. Let's see if I can zoom in on that a bit there. Go ahead and pause it. If you wanna take a moment and read what's there. I want to take a moment and say yes, we really appreciate each and every single one of you. Please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. And your voice carries so much more weight with the algorithm. The algorithm picks up your uh, like, follow, share, and subscribe, and then it shares it with others. And 
your voice is then amplified among others. So please do like, follow, share, and subscribe. And also take a look at our shop section on YouTube. We have the Vegas Don logo on top of the Las Vegas Strip skyline. Got the upcoming holiday season here. Maybe something for yourself, your significant other. And as always, remember here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you next time, folks. Thanks for joining us.